Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in for another Plan With Me video. This week I'm going to be planning for the 13th till the 18th of May using this American Crafts sticker book. I don't know the name of it, it doesn't have anything written, but I'll leave a link in the description to where I found it. It was from, um, it was from Spotlight. I've also got these washi tapes, most of those are from Kmart, and I've also got my date covers from Birdie Planning as well. So I'm going to start off by putting down my date covers. There were some that came in the book, but they were on a clear stick of paper and they weren't quite the width of their EC boxes. And I really liked these ones that I picked up from Birdie Planning as well. So I'm just going to start off by whiting out the dates on the inserts. I was going to use this kind of regular width washi behind it and lay the date covers over the top, but I just thought it was a bit too thick. I didn't like that it went all the way to the edge of the page. Instead, I'm going to use this thin washi tape from, it's a, from a Happy Planner pack of really skinny washi. This one is from Washi Gang. I'm not sure of the exact pack, but I'll, again, I'll leave a description below. Then I'm just gonna lay the date covers and then the date dots over the top of this. I really like how it turned out. I do end up going back at the end of the video and trimming like in between each day so they line up a bit better with the boxes as well. Now, starting on Monday, I thought this strip of stickers was gonna be long enough to go across all three days. I put it get put my page against the page of stickers, but as you can see, it's just a little bit short. So I'm gonna trim these and kind of alternate them. So I'm just gonna have it cover Monday, and then underneath I'm gonna use this box type sticker. It is a bit wide for the like columns that I've got, so I'm just gonna trim off the excess, and then I end up adding in a work script sticker from Wednesday planning as well. that I wanted to mark in my online class that I have so I used another one of those like a washi strip sticker and then over the top I laid this today flag sticker um, and then I used a online class icon from Happy Dyer and then I just mark in my lecture time next to it. One of the main things that drew me to this sticker book were these really cute checklists so I'm gonna grab one of those and then there's little like header type stickers. This one says get it done, but I end up using one that says things to do. Now they aren't quite as wide as the columns, so I had to cope with it not quite getting to the end, but I'm just trimming down the checklist and then putting the little header at the top. This left me with a bit of a gap, so I'm gonna use another like piece of a washi strip type sticker just to fill in that space as well. Now I did lose a little bit of footage for Tuesday, but I'm just gonna start off at the top with another piece of the like sticker strips. Then I use a gold, like a little, it's almost like an appointment label just to mark in my boyfriend's mom's birthday before making a to-do list underneath. With the cute little like round checkpoint stickers, I really liked those in the book as well. Then I'm just gonna use a, another one of the um, like box type stickers that I did on Monday just in a different color again to mark my work time. I'm gonna chuck in another script sticker from Wednesday planning there too. I wanted to mark in at the bottom that we're going out to celebrate my boyfriend's mom's birthday so I used another box sticker but I just flipped it around so the colored block was on the other side trimmed off the excess and I end up putting a really cute little happy dyer like gift with a little panda icon there at the end. It was at this point my boyfriend came home with a coffee for me and I promised to give him a little shout out so there it is, thanks Steve. In this gap here I wasn't quite sure what to put, I really liked this lemon sticker that I found and I wanted to cut the like background off it just because it was a bit tall but I feel like when I cut it it just looked 10 times worse. Two seconds later, I found a different lemon sticker that I could have used, but instead I just used another piece of the um, like strip stickers. I ended up putting a little study script sticker from Birdie Planning, but I had some trials trying to put in this cake. I just It just didn't do it for me, so I just put another strip there. While this was a little frustrating at the time, it gave me a chance to try out my undo that I bought. I don't know how I've lived without this 
it dries like it looks like I've used so much here but it literally dries in like two seconds and then you can write on it or put another sticker down I'm obsessed I did end up leaving Tuesday with a little bit of a gap between the like work box and then this like yellow spotted one it was just taking way too long and I was getting a bit frustrated so moving on to Wednesday I started off with another one of the little like banner type stickers at the top another box to mark in my shift at work and then I also really love these um, clipboard stickers as well so I wanted to use one of those just to mark in not only my class but maybe a few things I wanted to get done before that so I used another piece of one of the strip stickers and then just put the clipboard down over the top it wasn't quite wide enough to take up the whole box so I just wanted to have something behind it as well Then at the bottom, I just wanted to use a bit of a decorative sticker, I guess. So I used another strip sticker. It wasn't quite long enough, so I just trimmed it, not even in the middle, but just trimmed it a little bit so it could go to each end and then put this cute little square sticker of a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Moving on to the second half of the week, for Thursday, I'm just trimming down another sticker to use as a header at the top of the page. I use this cute green one with the stars on it. I feel like you could have also used this as a checklist as well. Then underneath, I'm just creating another to-do list for myself. So just using another one of those things to do header stickers over the checklist. Then I wanted to mark in my shift at work. It was in the evening, so I put it at the bottom of the day. This is when I hit a bit of a struggle with what to fill that other gap with. There were some full box stickers in the sticker book, but I don't know, I didn't like love many of them. There was, they were more quotey and I don't usually have a ton of quotes in my planner. So I end up putting a sticker that just says good vibes and it's on a clear sticker paper. I struggled a little bit with like backings and things like that, but you'll see that a bit later on. For Friday, I started off again with one of the little banner stickers at the top. Then there was this really cute arrow, so I wanted to put that there. Underneath that, I've got a box to mark in a like an induction I have for my placement. But then I also used a little bullet point in that gap between the arrow, just to mark in that I needed to remember to bring some paperwork to the induction. I also wanted to use another checklist, just so the one on Wednesday wasn't too lonely. So I just did the same Thing by putting the strip of sticker behind as a bit of a backing and then putting the checklist over the top. At the very bottom, I just use another piece of one of these long stickers and I end up putting a study script from Birdie Planning over that as well. I think I, yeah, I did it on Tuesday as well. I start off by putting these little quotes on there, which I think are cute, but I also need to study, so any extra reminder to do that is hopefully going to help me with that. I jumped over to Sunday to start off with another like DIY header sticker. Then I am using another, oh, I'm jumping back. So this is where I have my struggles with the blank space on Thursday. So I start off by using this really cute green sticker. There's the good vibes one. I don't know, I think it just looks a bit funny just because you can see through the sticker. So as I said, I end up adding like a gold arrow underneath, but then just having no backing, just the good vibes. Back to Sunday, I'm using a another one of these boxes just to mark in my work time again. Saturday. I can't believe, I feel like I forgot this. No, I didn't forget. I just wanted to make sure I marked it. So I'm using another one of the flag type stickers that I used on Monday just over one of the strips. This is to mark in that I really want to, I'm very excited about going to the um, picture to page market in Pakenham. So that's going to have the, the planner alley. So there'll be a few planner sticker stores there as well, which is super exciting. Um, I haven't been to a planner market since the Melbourne one last year, so this is almost like a, a bit of a pre-game before Melbourne a bit later in the year, so I'm super excited to go to that one. Then underneath, I just put a few of the little like round bullet point stickers, 
and I just felt like I needed something at the bottom but there wasn't a ton of space so I trimmed down one of the strips just so there was some yellow there before Sunday started. I also really loved these little sunglasses stickers so I put them on Sunday just to fill in a bit more space. In the little gap that's left between there I just used another one of the little checkpoint dots as well. place this good vibes sticker back down. Um, I did add quite a few icon stickers as well which I'll list in the description below. I also added this thick washi at the bottom. I'm not too sold on it. I feel like I'm probably going to end up changing it. The one pictured is just from Kaiser Craft. In person you can see the white out underneath a lot and it's bothering me a bit. I'm just going to go ahead and fill a few things out. Let me know what you think of this thread. This is my first time using a sticker book in these like EC style inserts and I'd really love to know what you think. That is it from me. I hope you guys all have a fabulous week and I will see you next time. Bye.